Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful, blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful, blessed weekend. Weekend, may Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days always. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Sagittarius. And anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Sag in this reading, may be returned back to send a, a thousandfold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest way, light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me. <clears throat> guide me and keep me safe and please come down and protect and guide the viewers to have clicked on this video today what are the messages today for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north Rome. what does sag need to know holy spirit please and thank you so you guys have victory and success i that's what's going on now i i i said <laughs> i i now i <laughs> somebody here they kind of drew out and they didn't realize who they was around with Okay, somebody here said, oh, Sag is only going to get this, Sag is only going to get that, Sag is only going to be this, Sag is only going to be that. They didn't realize who they was talking about. They were talking about God's child. Okay, you realize what you are here to do, your base chakra, your root chakra, you know your purpose, your calling, or you're going towards it. You're more rooted in self. You're more grounded in your own energy. You know how to ground your energy at this time, and this is how you're able to overcome obstacles and challenges. Okay, that's the truth. You're entering another chapter of your life where you could be feeling like you're going through another hurdle and it could be really difficult, but you don't see that this is a part of your alignment with that circle. You don't see that God is covering you, God is protecting you, and God is showing you the way. Okay, you could be someone who's very religious, spiritual. You could even be studying your Akashic records or your, I'm here in Ancestry.com, like your, your, your bloodline, your lineage, your generation before you, your ancestors. You could be studying more about them. For someone here, you could have a very regal, royal, Egyptian bloodline. You could be finding this out, okay, because I'm seeing it's a symbol here like an Egyptian symbol here. That's the, that's the truth. Someone here, you're about to get a signal, okay? You could be looking out for a signal. You could live somewhere where there's a lighthouse or there's like a building that flashes or something. You're going to be getting a signal from up above. The number five, six, one, and 20 could be significant, okay? Someone could be born on any of these dates of any month. The number January, February, May, and June could be significant as well. Angel number one, two, three is significant as well. You have a lot of partnerships and alliances. You have people that are going to be wanting to work together with you that's coming in at this time. These are positive energies as well. Okay, let's see. What else does Sag need to know? What else does Sag need to know? Okay, so you have here. Yeah, it's time to surrender to the truth. So this, that's the second time we are seeing the truth. It's time to surrender to the truth. And it's time to stay focused, Sag, because you in your bag and you making everybody mad, I <laughs> You could be buying a new, mat, a new bag. You could be buying clothes or jewelry. Or there's someone that is upset about this. They're upset that you could be dressing in a really luxurious or lavish nice way they could find you to be flashy but it's because they can't afford it or it's because of shit. spirit is like listen you have been humble for a long time Saj, so it's something about now you're popping out and there's people that are mad but you've been in your bag okay you don't have nothing to fear or worry about either okay it's like spirit is moving you forward successfully and now is the best time to move forward because it's like you're entering a brand new chapter there's a lot of people that are talking about this there's a lot of background chatter. Everybody knows what's going on or something is like worldwide or global or you could, you could be like someone that is like well-known, a celebrity, well-known in your community, your atmosphere. This is also because you know how to love yourself. Self-care, okay, self-love, self-care. That's the new romance. Yeah, somebody here came up against you and that was their biggest mistake. This is someone that's realizing how gifted you are and how you're truly tapped in with the other side. There's a strong connection to spirit. They could have been scared and they could have wore a false mask in your energy, thinking that you weren't going to find out or thinking that spirit wasn't going to let you know that's what's going on. It was a lot of people involved in some type of mess coming up against you, lying on your name, slandering you. And it could be because you're very focused on self, on work, on your career, on family even, and on bettering your life. <clears throat> on leveling up in different ways. Yeah, somebody here was told to think twice. 
spirit is allowing you to do certain things at this time because God is preparing the table in front of your ops and your enemies. God is prepping you to receive your blessings. Okay, pasta could be significant. Spaghetti, Italian food could be significant. Italy, okay, going out to dinner or going out to a fine dining restaurant, treating yourself or going out on a date could be significant as well. Okay, you could just be spending time with God, but y'all could be eating really good. Okay, spirit is like protect yourself. <clears throat> Not everyone in your energy is trustworthy, okay? But please know that God is with you. You are a highly spiritually protected person. You're highly spiritually gifted and inclined, Sagittarius. You are a big deal. Please know who you are. <laughs> know who you are. Know the energy that you carry. Yeah, someone's trying to learn more about you or they're trying to learn more about a situation. Spirit is letting somebody sit in that energy too. Like, <laughs> Spirit is letting somebody contemplate, like, for real, the answer is yes. Spirit is letting somebody contemplate, not only because they need to make a major change in their life, but it's to see like the major changes and growth that is occurring in your own life, in yours. Someone here is so concerned with you instead of being concerned with their own path. God is making sure that they see the major life changes that are coming in. Okay, like someone here is, is making sure like they're keeping track or they're trying to keep like, keep note of your success. Yeah, your spiritual... Your spirit guides are talking right now. Your spiritual team is talking right now. That's what I'm hearing. Like, that's really what I'm hearing. Somebody is too busy, worried about your path instead of worried about the changes that's needed in theirs or the blessings that's getting ready to come in their own life or what they need to work on. That spirit is like, okay, cool. You want to see this major life change? I'm going to make sure you see. It. I'm going to make sure that you see how Sag is growing, evolving, how they're about to change. They grow, about to look different. The people that they're hanging around is about to be different. I'm about to show you how life is about to be really, really different for Sag since you want to be so concerned instead of being concerned with your own path, your own life, your own soul. Okay. Cool. So somebody here, yeah, they're about to, ooh, they about to reap that All right now. Okay. What is surrender? What is it's time to surrender to the truth for Sag? Holy Spirit. What's it's time to surrender to the truth? This could be about a relationship with the two of cups when it is show itself, a dynamic. Okay. C confusion around whether or not you should rush towards something. Confusion around whether or not, like, you could be upset about some, either someone has options, someone could have put you in confusion or an illusion. You could be wanting to fight or retaliate, or you'd be wanting to express your peace. Like, you want to see, you have some quick, swift words, direct words to someone. This could also be in regards to, you know, how somebody did this on purpose. Like, the Knight of Swords, they were very vindictive in regards to putting you in confusion, keeping you as an option. Okay. Or this could be you confused whether or not you should rush in to try to save the day. Okay, in a situation, but spirit is like something has already closed out. Something has already been completed. You already learned that lesson, Sag, the world. You completed this. There's achievement that's meant to come towards you. Something was really, really difficult, but you did it. And I'm proud of you with the strength card. It took a lot of willpower, inner strength, okay? A lot of like belief in self, belief in God, and belief that you are doing this thing. Belief that you can handle this. Belief that you can get over this. Belief that you can tame yourself understand yourself, learn yourself more, which is why God put the whole situation or the person or the environment in your path to begin with because he knew how strong you were, okay? He literally knew this. This is an angel taming a lion by body and hands. So do not want to play around with Sag. Somebody here is like, it's time to release something that you could have been fighting for. It's time to get out of your head over that. This could most definitely be surrounding something regarding the past. A past person, situation, connection, okay? We have to stay in your bag, okay? <laughs> That's self-explanatory. What's we'll learn more about the situation? Someone here is learning that you're about to receive everything you want plus more. The nine of cups and the two of cups. That's wish fulfillment, that's satisfaction, that's blessings, that's achievement, that's rewards, that's like material harvest, that's you getting what you want, okay? That's a prayer being answered, you getting more than, than you want, especially in regards to love with the two of cups. Someone's not going to be happy about this, okay? They could have found this out and they not happy. They found out you about to celebrate. You could be going on that cruise ship. What is it? It's going to the Baham Bahamas. I don't know if it's Carnival, Royal Caribbean, where I'm hearing the, uh, or sandals. Someone here, something could be significant around, around sandals, or something could be significant around that cruise ship, sandals. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the, the theme song in my head. <laughs> you remember you used to play on the commercial? That's what I'm hearing. 
Somebody here is mad that your life is on vacay. You're about to be celebrated. You're about to go on vacay. Or this is you being more social. People like enjoying your energy, your company, celebrating you. Okay, someone's not happy about this. Four Cups, they're very discontent about this. Wow. And this is someone that's going to have to sit in this energy for a while. So they found out some type of information. Yeah, this is going to make them stronger, Sag. Or someone's realizing how strong you are, Sag. Your true potential, your charisma, your confidence, okay, your drive, your sense of self. Somebody's realizing who you truly are. What's think twice about? Somebody here needed to think twice. This is in the past. They needed to think twice. They didn't. Somebody was, yeah, and now this person wants to, like, compromise with you, throw in the red flag. They want to throw in the truth. They want to, they feel like they got caught. This is someone that's like, okay, I want to just surrender now to the situation. Because they see that you could get a lot of attention. You could be successful. You could be in the public eye. You came out as the victor in a situation. And they came out as hurt emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Like, they could have, this is someone that should have thought twice. This could have been an air sign that did this or a Capricorn because the devil wants to show itself. Someone that was toxic or a very toxic, abusive, restricting situation. Okay, God is prepping you at this time. What is protect yourself about for Sag? Okay, this is about you continuing to walk away, Sag. Okay, you leaving alone a situation is protecting yourself. That's God's divine protection over your life. Are you getting the drive, the strength, the willpower, the bravery, the courage to leave something? Even though you may have wanted it to work, you're realizing it's not giving you the resolve that you want. It's not going back to the way things used to be. It's not no growth there. So it's like if it's a if so, if it's no growth, it's a dead end situation. It's time to leave it alone. It's going to end up like drowning you 1144 on the timer. You have the eight of cups. This is you realizing like something isn't alignment, lining with you anymore. It's not going to give you wish fulfillment. Okay. The eight of cups is getting to step in so that you could receive your blessing. And that's what's coming in. You having to receive something solo dolo or you getting something when, because you're choosing to thrive. Self-love, self-care. Okay. Putting yourself first, making yourself a priority, focusing on your health. Your financial blessings, your home life, your security, your stability, your job, looking good, smelling good, you, Sag. You embody an earth angel energy. This is also God's divine protection over, over your life with Archangel Michael covering you. And he don't play no games about you. You are a star. Or you're just someone that's very protected or very loved by the heavens. And there could have been some one, two, three on the time. Or there could have been major changes or transformations that could have taken place in regards to you having to learn how to get on your spiritual path, how to pray more to God, how to connect, how to hear those messages. You could have had like a renewal in regards to your faith, your vitality, your energy, your 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 inspiration could have been different at this time. You could be more inspired or you could be learning more about your purpose. You could be more faithful, more hopeful for life as well. There's a lot of heavenly protection over your life, Sag. You are covered. Okay, and it's because of your strength. It's like your angels don't play about you and it's because you're not playing about yourself. Okay, what is this about? Which is their biggest mistake? This was their biggest mistake. Trying to do something in secret, ghosting you, hiding the fact that they were share, exchanging your energy with other people or taking from you and giving to other people. Or this could have been someone that could have been like secretly saying that they wanted to have like equal exchange with you with the Six of Pentacles, but it could have been about some type of money. What's the hermit? Somebody had like ill motives. Okay, as to why they wanted to celebrate with you. Yeah, this is someone that got childhood wounds and issues. They don't know how to love correctly right now. Someone hasn't healed from nothing. Page of Cups is like not being sorry, loss of empathy, lack of empathy, lack of true harmony, lack of true healing within. Like this is someone that you avoided a tower with or this is someone that doesn't know how to take accountability for shit. They were trying to avoid karma and it's ending anyway for them. Like things are ending in their life very, very rapidly. This is someone that's about to feel like pain like this is someone that sees that you are thriving they could be wanting to talk to you or apologize now about it but after talking a lot of shit about you lying spreading rumors about you trying to slander your name at a distance page of swords that was their biggest mistake because you're a wife or a husband okay you're someone that's meant to be celebrated. You're someone that actually has healed Page of Cups. You're working on your inner traumas and wounds. You're going within self-reflection, introspection. You got hermit. You got spirit guys that are around you. This is their biggest mistake coming up against you when you're focusing on self, loving yourself. Male or female, you're focusing on your money. Like That was, that, that was a fucked up move, yo. That was dumb, Sag, okay? For them to do that to you, that was dumb, okay? Dumb, and that's the truth, <laughs> okay? Ooh, this 
was somebody's path or all it did was put you on the path towards clarity, towards truth, towards God, towards wisdom, okay, towards believing what you speak actually being the truth, towards listening to your intuition and your better judgment, it put you on the path towards righteousness, the ace of swords, clarity, okay? And you're taking the world with you and you running with it. Somebody here is seeing that they lied about you really bad. They lied on your character about how you love your family, how you love yourself, what you are pouring your money into, the type of woman or man you are. Like the page of swords is lies. In the reverse, that's lies from a distance. And the truth is going to come out. This is either to happen in the past or this is with somebody from your past that did this. Ace of swords is the truth. Truth is going to come out any way that somebody tries to shake it. It's still going to happen. That was their biggest mistake. Okay, doing that to you. That was real, real, real stupid. Just dumb. Anything else? Okay, Sag needs to know. Yeah, Sag, you put some type of boundaries up. Okay, somebody here, they got disrespectful with you. Okay, they mouth, they let their mouth get all wild or something, or they, they actions was really at a place where it was like you were like, this person's not good for me. And like, enough is enough. You began to defend yourself. You laid down law. You said, like, I'm, if this person crosses this line or I'm not going to let somebody cross this line with me no more. You were dealing with the karmic, somebody that was could have put you in a third party, someone that allowed third parties, someone that really hated you on the low or secretly, like, you know, had animosity towards you or was jealous or envious towards you. You learned this lesson. And it has this person shook. They scared. They looking over their shoulder. They real cautious now. They real insecure and they really guarded and they feel like they have to protect themselves because they know God is protecting you and you're protecting yourself. You're no longer with this shit. Okay, literally, yeah, this person is exhausted. They tired. They tired of dealing with this. This is someone that is burnt out and they feel like you're in a place of peace. You could be going out into nature. Okay, you could be going by the water. Okay, there could be a significance around sound bowls or meditation music, or meditating, or you're just in a place of peace, of harmony, bringing inner peace and joy, balance into your life. This is someone that thought that you were going to, like, try to get over them by trying to be very lust savvy, like sex, drugs, alcohol, like overindulging, because that's what they are trying to do. This person is very greedy, and they do things by any means necessary. They're also unapologetic about it, very inconsiderate of your feelings, or even others, or how they treat others. This is someone that's very arrogant, okay? And it's like they did some type of rash actions and now they want to talk to you about it. This could be a masculine. This could be a man or this could be a woman. If that's a masculine energy or this is you, Sag. You're in a place of authority at this time. You could be a mother or a father figure or you could just be adding discipline, harmony, structure into your life and you're laying down law. And it's what you say is like you, you staying by that. Your word is bond. You have someone that you're going to have a deep bond with. It's going to feel like a close type of connection, closeness, oneness. This could be with a divine feminine or divine masculine that you're about to be meeting because you're embodying the energy that you want to attract. And if you are a man, you're meeting a feminine. If you're a feminine, you're meeting a masculine. So congratulations. This is a soulmate, Sag. <laughs> this is a soulmate coming through you. This is someone that's the one. Your twin flame, the one, a romantic partner. Okay, this is someone that's going to help nurture you. Or you could be very nurturing, very motherly, male or female, very kind. You could be loving on your kids more, loving on yourself more, loving on your pets more, loving on the world more. You're just in a more loving, peaceful energy. You could be someone that's very wise and you know how to give back. And because you're in this energy, other people, this person is being attracted towards you. They're being gravitated in. God is sending this person towards you. This is a beautiful energy, Sag. Like, get ready. <laughs> get ready, okay? Get ready. Anything else that Sag needs to know? Ooh, Sag, get ready. Okay, they want me to use this white deck soon. I'm going to use the white deck soon. Where are we at? Anything else that Sag needs to know? Okay, yeah, somebody, they're trying to gain the courage to talk to you. This is a third party. So be mindful of a third party that could be trying to drink or smoke or they feel like they have the confidence to step to you. This could be a male or a female. This could be someone that puts you in a third party that's needing to drink or smoke or overindulge to be out of their natural reality, to be able to communicate with you. This is someone that puts you in a third party. That's the truth. You got some type of truth or clarity about this. So this is someone that wants to confess to you now. There's some type of secrets that they want to reveal or you could have found out the truth about the situation. 
This is someone that's at a crossroads or they could have kept you at a crossroads. But it's all about you learning like the deeper meaning as to why things happened. Okay, somebody here also feels like things are very vague. This could have been someone that's dealing with like the justice system or a legal matter, or you could have had to like, either they involved the legal system or you did. This person's under judgment at this time though. They most definitely are under judgment because you surrendered to the divine. You surrendered to what God wants for you. You chose to let go, Sag. Okay, you gave up a situation. You're no longer given towards it. And that's exactly what you needed to do. You needed to go ghost. Okay, who's this karmic energy? This is someone that wants to come towards you. The page of wands or someone is realizing that their efforts or their action really didn't get them nowhere. Page of wands, seven of pentacles, that you're still thriving. You still look good. You still are growing, male or female. You're very blessed. You're highly favored. You're protected. You could be wealthy, living a very lavish, abundant life. You still leave things alone that don't align with you. Somebody's not realizing. What's the page of wands? This karmic energy is realizing they took action to go straight towards karma. Okay? Or they're realizing that you took action and you're receiving your just desserts, good karma, your blessings. Things are balancing out for you specifically if they involve like a court situation. Everything's being laid to rest. Okay, what's this justice about? Yeah, for you, Sag, you're meant to have a lot of money and live a very blessed and wealthy life in this lifetime. This is you being able to buy what you want, eat what you want, to go, go where you want. You and someone are meant to be very wealthy. You're meant to impact the community. You're meant to give back to the community. You're meant to build empires for yourself, for your children, for your children's children. This is a very successful business. This is being able to live in a very affluent, wealthy, rich area, okay? And this is also having people watch from afar and hate, being upset, envious, and jealous. That's just what's going to have to do. That's just what's going to happen. Tell me more about this karmic. Somebody here sees how attractive you are, how sexy you are, how strong-willed you are. Okay, male or female, queen of wands, you're very confident in, in this, however you want to go about it. This could be a Virgo that's doing spell work on you. This is someone that's also doing black magic in this situation over you because they feel like you're too powerful. They're doing it over your home, over your house, over your family, like your relationship. And this person doesn't know it's going to backfire. You are protected and covered. This is just to let you know. Okay, like confirmation if you've been feeling somebody's been trying to attack your stability, your security, your money, your partnerships, collaborations, anything like that. This is this wicked person doing this as resorting to this because they're desperate and they feel like they have no other means but to do this. They feel like you keep being guided away from the attack, Six of Swords. You're being guided away and you are, okay? This is also someone that could have tried to send you like options in love or, okay, or they could be confused as to how people keep coming toward you, why you have so many options. This could be someone that could be trying to send you suitors that are going to confuse you or manipulate you or betray you. So listen to your intuition as well, because you have a true emperor that's on the way. This could be someone that's going to try to send you like false partners or people that are going to look like they're your person, but they're really coming in with confusion or illusion. Okay. Yeah. The nine of swords is something about stress, worry, anxiety, regret. These karmics are really stressed because they got caught up the devil. Okay, these devil energies that the devil was utilizing, okay, whatever deception, energy, lies, thievery, con, con artist energy, whatever trickster energy that they were vibing in, thinking that they were going to get away with it. Now they're remorseful. Now they're stressed. Now they're crying. Now they're caught up. They're red handed. The devil has been caught. You have this obsessive, toxic, manipulative, abusive energy, really sad to their knees, stressed out because you listen to your intuition. And it has bossed you up to either be this male, this divine masculine, or this divine feminine, two, three, four, on the timeline. That's what I'm talking about, Sag. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right? That's what I'm talking about, baby. You got this person exhausted trying to keep up with you. They tired. Who's this person exhausted? They tired. It could be a Leo or it could be someone who was exposed or someone just used, someone that just used you as very beautiful and abundant. This person has been exposed for trying to be patient, trying to orchestrate a plan for a long time. Okay. They have been exposed and it has been like costing them like their money, their balance, their peace in their life. They've been juggling, trying to get back to a place of alignment. Okay, it's been very difficult for this energy. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, but it's something about how they see that you are not stressed out. This is someone that is exhausted. They're tired and they feel like they cannot keep up. Okay, this could be someone in your family that you could have helped financially. Okay, or it could have been a burden or someone here could have been purposely trying to burden you. Either with like trying to give them extra time, money, attention, love, whatever. 
Okay, they could have been purposely trying to stress you out to your brink of point. And for someone here, this is family, a friend, someone that you could deem as a family member or someone that's a blood tie family, like a relative, a cousin, a friend. Take it how it resonates. Okay, let's jump to this one. What else does Saj need to know? A Taurus is in your energy. There's a Taurus that only wanted money. Okay, so be very mindful of this Taurus. This is someone that they realized and their plans didn't work to try to manipulate you or scam you. You are on the right path, 333. Three, three. Someone here is realizing this. Okay, there's a Capricorn in your energy. Something could be happening in the next 72 hours with a Capricorn. For someone here, this could be involving a sister that's a Capricorn. Something could be happening in the next 24 hours. You got a Scorpio that could be coming in and this could be new love for someone. Okay, you could be getting ready to meet a Scorpio and it's going to have somebody mad because they spread a lot of lies and rumors about you. Okay, the letter S could be significant and they're going to have to sit their ass down. Okay, what does Sag need to know? Something could be happening on Monday where someone is realizing that you are God's warrior. Your angels and your ancestors, they are pissed off about what's going on. They know exactly what's going on and they're like, wow, this person could have tattoos. Okay, don't let the past hold you back at all, Sag. Something could be happening in the winter. Okay, or someone could be born in the winter time. Okay. You also have here, somebody here wanted you to be in runner chaser energy. They wanted you to chase after them while they ran from your love, ran from your advice, ran from your caring energy. And you're this divine feminine that's very gentle, that's very nurturing. Or you could be this masculine that's in a place of authority, very disciplined, very strong willed, and you got it going on. You're the full package male or female. Okay, you're a boss. Okay, you know how to be empathetic, sympathetic. You know how to put yourself in another's shoes. You know how to focus and take care of a family, your home, or your career, and yourself. And others, four for four, you have angelic, spiritual, and ancestral protection over your life. The letter J could be significant. This is someone that could be trying to pop up on you. You will overcome this situation. This is your old love trying to come in. There's going to be a faded event. Okay, this is also someone that's realizing that you don't have no more delays, no more holdups, no more blockages. The letter M could be significant. Okay, this is a jealous karmic that was in the mix. Somebody was trying to be like you or act like you or do things like you. They could never, Sag. Okay. They could never. Okay, yeah, you have here, you have a big money payout that's getting ready to come towards you. This person wants you to unblock them because they see you're about to be all inclusive in a relationship. This is your ex that wants to come back in. The letter G could be significant. You need to be really having firm boundaries up with this person. Yeah, you're a star. You're about to gain the recognition, the praise, the accolades, the inspiration. You're about to be well-known or have this level up, and it's meant to come in. This is someone that wants to come back because they are late on bills, and they see that you are growing. You're about to spring forward. Someone could be born in the spring. In the spring, you could be meeting someone. You could have met someone in the springtime. I'm also seeing here, this is someone that wants to spoil you, okay? Someone here wants you to say no. Or someone here is mad about this, this is a drama starter, or you need to tell a drama starter no because you have someone new that's coming in. There could be a Leo that's in major depression as well. There's someone that's broke, which is another reason why they want to pop up on you. And it could be because you have good karma that's over your life. All blockages have been removed, and it's putting someone in major depression, okay? Because your ops and your enemies are failing, and they are defeated. That's why God is setting the table up for you, and that card is already out. I said that. Father, God is setting a table for you in the presence of your ops and your enemies. I knew that car was going to fly out. You eating real good. Y'all about to live a very lavish life. And it's like, Father God, you, okay, the person that he has, has created for you, y'all about to live it up. It's about to be real, real, real nice. Anything else that Sag needs to know? Okay. Yeah, this is someone that's getting readings done on you, Sag. Okay. Someone, this person's getting readings done on you. They're trying to think of a master plan because they realize you are a healer. Your ex only wants to come back because they're receiving karma. They know that you're about to meet your twin flame, okay? This is someone that has tried to fool you. They know that they for the streets. Male or female, they know that they nasty, okay? They don't protect themselves, not physically, not emotionally, not spiritually, not mentally, okay? They wanted you to do something first so that they can do it back to you. There was a really bad ending that could have taken place and either you or this person will be moving away from the situation. They wanted you to do something first so that they could sneak attack you. So that they could say, okay, I did this to Saj because they did this to me. Like somebody here is out for, you know, tick for tack. This is a straight bullshitter that you need to leave alone. That wanted power and control over you. This person wanted war with you. And it's like, you could be realizing, is it only about the money? Spirit is like burning some type of sage, white sage, dragon's blood, okay, lavender, 
burn sage to protect your energy and to clear the energy around you, Sag. Okay? This is also someone that's realizing your love will change their life, but they could have not known how to respect you or exactly, like, the purpose you were meant to serve coming into their life. Somebody here, like, abused your energy, like, and tried to manipulate and play and tried to put it on to, like, you, and it's not. Like, they tried to say you were the problem. Okay, what else? What does Sag need to know? Yeah, this was someone that was deceptive or that's going to be lying to you about how they feel or someone lied to you about how they felt. They wore a false mask. They were lying. What is that advice, angels? Okay, you have here, release your ex. Release this person. Let this person go. Okay, let this person go. The time has come for you to clear your energy. This is someone that could have been saying that you could trust in them. Okay, this is a situation that's calling for you to have faith. So either you could have been trusting in your ex, and this is someone that wants to stab you in the back. Because every time I see that this man got this wand, it's like he's about to penetrate her back. Like, yeah, trust me, but I'm about to stab you in the back. It could be that type of situation where you're trusting your ex or you're trusting somebody in spirits. Like, this is not someone you need to be trusted that. Leave this person alone. They're vindictive. They're not for you. That's one um, situation. The other situation is you could be just meeting somebody new after you just released your ex. Or you could be talking to a new situation after you just released somebody that you know wasn't for you, somebody that was toxic. And you could be, like, really stressful about whether this situation is going to work. This is someone that your angels is orchestrating to come in. And it's calling for you to have faith. Okay? So either... Somebody that you were talking to at this time, this could be your ex, they could be untrustworthy, they're about to stab you in the back, and your angels is like, I wish this mother freaker would, okay? Because they're ready, they on guard too, okay? Or this could be a situation where you have met someone new and things could be a little shaky right now, but it's because things are getting into alignment and your spiritual team is like, have faith, trust that things will work out, because you could be meeting the one. Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you are seeking, that you are searching for, meaning you already met your soulmate. They are already in your energy. You already have met this person either in a past life or in the past through childhood or something like that. Or they could be coming back where you could be like, is, really this, is this really my soulmate? Is this really my person? Is this really my husband or my wife, the, the person I'm supposed to procreate with? Yes. Okay, the spirit has been telling you this and you could have been questioning or doubting your intuition. Don't doubt it. Like Angel Michael. Okay, you have to lean on God and the angels for support. I know that's right. Dear God and angels, I give you, briefly, briefly describe the situation. Now and completely, I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved at the bottom. Please know who's in charge. God is in charge always or days. I now. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Amen. Okay, let's do Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. What's that advice? Okay, thank you. You guys got I release physical and emotional tension to create space for flow. And at the top, I have the power to create change. Okay, I know that's right. And at the bottom, you have here, all of my emotions are part of my human experience. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Sag. And I will be seeing you in the next video. You guys can also be connecting to a tourist because tourists wanted to just come up. I'll see y'all in the next video, Sag. Love y'all.